through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now... I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. So that was a nice little catch-up cutscene, kind of giving you guys the events of Horizon Zero Dawn. And honestly, I can't believe it's only February and we already have my most anticipated game of 2022 here. This is Horizon Forbidden West. This is going to be a full let's play of the main story of the game, side quests, boss battles, everything followed up by a formal review afterwards. And I'm also giving away a copy of this game thanks to our good friends over at Elgato. We actually have a nice little contest that you guys can enter that you can win a copy of the game as well as this capture card right here. So you actually can start making your own gameplay videos and posting them to YouTube or live streaming. So I wanna give Elgato a quick thank you for sponsoring this first video. I am an Elgato partner. Everything that you guys are watching and listening to in this video was made by an Elgato product. I absolutely love everything they make. So if you guys want to enter the contest, the link to that will be in the description below. But that's enough for me. That's enough talking. Let's jump right into the game right here. Cute. So this is a PlayStation 5 version of the game. We're playing on performance mode. So high frame rates instead of fidelity. I think it's better for YouTube with YouTube compression being what it is. Turned off motion blur because I don't like motion blur myself. So any suggestions or qualms, let me know in the comment box below if that works with you guys. Still looks pretty. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. There she is! The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, I'll starve. The red-headed goddess, Mawafu. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia, the AI you designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, 
It comes to nothing. Ashley Birch, I love you. And every night, I have the same dream. The voice actor's so good. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth, waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. For a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I, I should... Oh, no. I've been dragging you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you. No matter what, you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information <laughs> on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Let's go! Let's go! Shall we? Got a couple of scrapes on the way here. 
We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. Get that focus on. Test out the combat. After I got these plants though, right? Plants always first. Charge. Damn! Feel powerful. Got my dodge. All right, we're good to go. Every game's always a little bit different, so you gotta test out your abilities same time you get to a new planet, as Captain Ginyu would say. All right, let's keep going here. Love the sound effect. <laughs> Love the sound effect. Look there, more of the blight. That camera whipping at 60 FPS. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's infecting all the plants. It's changing them. If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. That's why we have to fix it. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um... It's an AI. It's, um... It's hard to explain. Think of it like... a set of instruct... Oh? Smart, smart. Production value. Sounds complicated. Didn't do the swan dive, but Noticed you know. you're, uh, traveling light these days. Yeah. I, um... ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. Force is so lush. <coughs> oh, this stuff spreads fast. Six months ago, the land was fine. Now it's everywhere. Am I losing health? Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you walk on it, you're losing health. All right, let's not spend too much time on there. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Dinner! Get to the ancient ruins. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some ridgewood by the stream. <laughs> Give me that ridgewood. Right. Now to craft some arrows. Done. Me too. Arrows ready. There's a ladder, but can't reach it. Easy, After easy. After you. Hardcore in this game was so good. First time around, I don't think that our brand new franchise has like had such a great first entry than Horizon did with its first ever game. Probably the only other game I could equate it to is when the original Halo dropped. That's pretty much it. Usually like games take like their second iteration to really hit their stride. But what was this place? I don't know. The transmission, the uh, message I found didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. 
We need to find a way in. Poor Foxy. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. The blight's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals, too. Then people will get sick, too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. But yeah, Zero Dawn, just like, oh, I can pry this open. Just hit the ground running, man. Find anything good? A few supplies. And the sales number prove it. They released numbers and the original Zero Dawn sold 20 million copies. 20 million! That is unheard of. Down this way. Ridiculous. Get to the cross. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. It's eye. It's a weak spot. Right. I'm ready. Are you ready? Well, we can completely avoid it as well. Kinda wanna do it stealthily. Okay, let's stealth on him. Shooting from a distance is easy, but walking right up behind someone and ganking them. There's. Oh, never mind. Concentrate. Dude, <laughs> Marl just thought in! Oh my god. Oh, this. Oh, I forgot this slowdown time. Oof. Okay, maybe next time, don't try to sneak Another one's button. coming. Okay, I'll go strip for the eyeball this time. Look at me. Look at me. Just threw a rock at me. I got him. Got him, guys. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. So, after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. Sun King put his people to work. Got it. And I set out to find you. So apparently this game is going to have a higher emphasis on the companion element. That's what they were pushing. So we can expect like large segments Someone of the game. This machine too. You're going to have a partner. Which I'm down with. Hey Lloyd can't do it on her own. Even though she is Pretty badass. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. Found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. Let's go. Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Oh, 
Wow, that box is so well hidden. <laughs> Visitor. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. We, we just force our way in, guys. We don't have we don't have access. We make an access. Please hold for identity scan. Nah, 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 nah. Should be able to pry this open. My magic stick. climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh, what's that stench? Entire camp. I doubt. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. I always wondered how does the focus attach to your head? <laughs> what's it what's it holding on to? A lot of supplies here. I guess they plan to stay a while. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. So, can I upgrade my gear here? No. It's for show. Uh, there's satchel. Come on. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right. I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. Ah, uh, yeah, workbench. The Polecaster. There were so many. There. Uh, Polecaster. Now to test it on the debris. There were so many cool devices in the first game. You could really do so many things. So do I attach? There's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. What 
What's this? Huh. What's this thing for? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please, proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. Oh, I might be able to get up there. I tried. Come on. I hope I'm doing this right. But... Oh, dang. Wow, that works. I overthought it. <laughs> that pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. <laughs> wow, I got you, man. I got you. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Don't get that box up there. There you go, Varl. Thanks. Can I pull that down? Give me. Coming up, Varl? What? Come on, buddy. I'll go without you, man. Humans. Homo sapiens. Us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The Sirius system. There will create humanity's first off world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chinvumbe, the truest form of immortality is... Data corrupt. <laughs> Playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say.
We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how... yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity... it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. Go up, we go up. Just as a reminder, so the I Odyssey. I can't believe the old ones could fly. They were capable of a lot of things, for good and bad. Sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there among the stars. Show off. You know it. I built this thing. I'm gonna use it. Ooh, another one. Another one. The Odyssey space program basically sent human zygotes the wilds are into really space. My focus might be able to help here. In hopes of colonizing a new planet. Oh, well, I guess we're pulling. I should be able to pull that thing out of the wall. I wanted the more uh, brute force method, but this works as well. Grumble. Deeper into the creepy ruin we go. Zhang Li crumble. Above us. What is that? I'm not gonna kill those of us around. Keep your guard up. Happy! Oh, my guard is up. Snick! It's probably the one that we've seen in all the trailers. Up here. Oh, they're going to get eaten by the snack. Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Stealth. This is where I am, Viking. Moving up. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Okay. There's its patrol path. Better get closer and stay out of sight. I can throw a rock to distract it. Get it into a position where I can sneak up and strike. Just have to wait for the right moment. Time to throw. Now I have to take it down with a spear strike. Silent strike! That's why I meant to do that first encounter, but gotcha. I forgot about the rock system. Mine's down too. 
GG's Varl. GG's man. You're a quick learner, bro. More of those machines ahead. Nothing you and I can't handle. Did you scavenge it? Wow, you didn't even scavenge it. Come on, man. Come on. What we got to work with here? Just one? Oh, we got two. My bow's ready. No, 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 no bow. Hopefully, maybe one day we're gonna get an auto loot ability because that would be pretty swell. It's coming back up. Oh, Jesus. That's the wrong button. Oh, never mind. Just gotta walk right past them. Okay. Easy peasy. Gotta do some more Ridgewood. Ridgewood, Ridgewood, Ridgewood. Medicine. I think they came from the bottom, right? So let's top off here and then we'll head down. Oh. Oh, 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 another one. Probably could just throw a rock to slow it down so it stops moving away from me, but... I like this tail view. I like that little, I like that little that rugby side stuff she does right before she goes in for the strike. Hitting that gap, you know? Meaning to mention, I like it. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. I like it. I like the beard. Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. See this face right here. This is this face ain't going anything. So I'll live vicariously through Varl. Asian baby face. What we got going on right now? Not right now. Right now being my entire life. It's okay. I save a fortune on razors. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Why oh, is that purple right there? What did I miss? Oh! Let's go back. That was weird. How the heck is anyone supposed to see that? To stay on focus mode, I guess. We're exploring, we're exploring. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. Keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Oh, cool! As an overheal. Careful, traps ahead. Huh? We might be able to disarm them.
there. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow it. yourself up. And got more supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. <laughs> Good idea. Well, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. But it looks like the Osirum shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. I can use this. Okay. I should have what I need to craft a trap. Get it all, Aloy, get it all. Don't be shy. So we gotta change this to blast trap. Great craft. There. Explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Over here, Aloy. I think I see a way up. <laughs> Yellow always means the way up. <laughs> Machine's head. Don't think they spotted us. I've seen this machine before. A scrounger. It's new to me. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. No, no, no. That's that's wasteful, dude. Just you just walk up to this, this thing and you jab him. Jab him. This way. We save all materials. I guess maybe you guys want to see what the blast trap looks like. Let's keep going. Oh, well, next time. Next time. Next time. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't fight my stealth roots, man. It's hard. You've been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? Well, they all have their secrets, but every place is different. We need to get up there. Okay. Parkour in this game is so good. They just nailed it right off the bat. Par the parkour in this game feels better than it does in Assassin's Creed games. My personal opinion. Well, it took the one game to figure it out. Sometimes I feel Ubisoft is still trying to figure it out. That's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah, but I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it. Mm. This data mentions the tech that Far Zenith traded with Zero Dawn. Doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Yep. Let's see. Huh. A lot of glyphs. 
feel, I'll tuck this away to study later. Feel free to pause it if you guys want to read those. I kind of briefly peruse them. Just as a story catch up, so Gaia basically committed seppaku in order to prevent the the spread of Hades. So we're looking for backup Gaia. Because Gaia is responsible for terraforming the world. Fixing everything. Looks like we've got to climb up. Unfortunately, despite her efforts, Hades ended up surviving. Why are these ones red? Are they not climbable? Oh. You okay? Yeah. Guess we won't be going that way. Well, got my answer. Got my answer. Red means dead. Thousand years old. Juking and jiving like here. some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the table. On to. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase One, establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn, status complete. Phase Two, the asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, Extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy? Why does that woman look like you? Uh, um... It's okay, bro. We look alike because... We're the exact same. Genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made. By a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too. With the focus, but for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Stupid scientist. I bet you, I bet you, 
the reason why. So Hades is a subroutine of Gaia. It's the one that became corrupted. Oh, look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. He was corrupted by a mysterious signal, quote unquote. Those Ostrom must have left us behind. Can't help them, but it can help us. And we still don't know what caused it. I bet you when they tried to hack it, it caused the corruption. A weapon. Thanks, Varl. We should keep moving. After you. Frost Blastling. Down here. That was like a Scarjo fall. <laughs> Superhero landing. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Why do you do that thing that you do? Or you think that everyone it's like you think everyone's looking at you. The hair flip. Look, that must be the machine. It's heading in the same direction we're going. Great. Had me. Another one of those machines. I could try out that new weapon on it. And then Make more noise, Aloy. Make more noise. How do I use? Uh. You throw more to get the frost burn. I don't want to waste the uh, material Looks here. Looks like we can cross over here. Fuck the bow. Trusty bow. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months. There were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. Ted Farrow screwed the world. Wow. That big metal thing looks like the ship we saw back in the auditorium. We're awesome. Imagine going up to the stars. Machines tore back. right through them. These guys couldn't catch a brick. Supply box here? I think that thing's still searching. Let's go over here. Maybe I'll just bypass them all together. Come back to me.
There. That ladder can get you to the tower. I literally hit it. <laughs> Look at it. It's poking out. I literally hit it. Come on. Okay, that one didn't hit. That first one hit it. It's the first one that counts. Five out of ten game now. Okay, there's a rail up there. I think I can reach it if I launch myself off that grapple point. How do I get up higher? Use momentum to launch yourself up to the next level. None of these are red. We're okay. Okay. Oh, well, that sounds good. No, no, don't go yet. There's a box. Let's get the box. The storm's getting bad. Here we go. Hopefully this works! So all along, there were three giant machines killing Osirum and leaving acid everywhere. <sighs> Great. Damn, man. Talk about scale, dude. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> that was close. One rickety tower down. On to the next. I won't be able to make that jump. There is a cable here. Maybe I can ride it to the other side. Uh... Oh! Uh... Well, more to go but up. How are we... St oh, it's on a slight angle. Together. I was like, are we walking? No! No! Game. Game. Game a game. Stop! Stop! Looks like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. I bet there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Oh, great. More machines in my way. Just one little baby. Two little babies. Oh. oh great. More machines in my way. Two babies. Should have highlighted this track. Spear up the rear. Oh, 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 oh. over there. Yeah, go over there. Oh 
There's something purple over here, but let's deal with that last rope pot before I try to go after it. Make sure you don't turn around on me, please. Keep going that way. Play it safe. Got this place to myself now. Gotta make sure he doesn't need that 180, you know? Reusable rock. Reusable rock. Okay. okay. I saw a purple box around here somewhere. Oh, the little rock. Nothing beats that. Maybe I didn't see oh, the box. Okay, keep moving. Control console might be in there. Okay, I have to crush those machines down below. <sighs> Ready? We're about to drop it. About to drop it. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Knew it. Gotta get that little extra nudge. Shoot it. The shadows caught up in those cables. Shoot it. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Now, how to get up the tower? Convenient. If I pull that beam down, it might drop the access lift. Spent so much time coming down here. Now we're going back up again. Closer to the shuttle to detach the cables. Well, that was a fail. Fall all the way down. Back up, please. Gameplay feels good. It's like. Horizon nailed the, so many gameplay elements in the first one. Like, controls are so snappy and felt really good to use. It's really just refining it and uh, what they're at, what they add in terms of abilities to make the game even better. Apparently, they really worked on the side quest system to make it okay. them feel more. Okay, doesn't sound good. I'm gonna have to detach those cables quick. make them feel more rewarding. So I'm looking forward to that. We're on this really expecting overall really good this experience. Should be the right spot. There. That connector's holding the cables together. Guys, guys, I don't know what to shoot. I can't I can't tell. <laughs> One. One down. Climb higher and attach the second set of cables. Then lob up. Scaling an ancient rickety tower with killer machines waiting. That's not what I wanted to do. That was weird. I think you're almost right. But no turning back now. That was so strange.
Maybe I jumped one too, off too often. I discovered something. Guess not. Okay, we go across. Almost there. There's the other connector. My eyes. So bright. Got two or three. That's only two. One more. Who um. had to fight that third one? Hundred percent. Shrug it off, shrug it off. Don't go anywhere, are you? Finishing this the hard way. I need to take this thing down to get to the data. Okay, where's that weak spot? Oh, is the weak spot? That sack's full of acid. I should target it first. Acid sack. Oh! I still got some fight left in you. Holy! All right, so he's not trapped. He's not trapped. Hey! Try at me now. Oh, get in there! Get in there! Canisters. Bye bye. Not what it is. Oh my god. Wow. He would not like that happen. Alright, move, move, move. We heal, we heal. Jesus. Bye. Get him. Oh no, don't get him. Yeah, you better run. Damn it. 
Once it broke free. I gotta take this thing down fast. A trap, maybe. Lost ammo. Where my focus might find something I can use around here. Oh my god. I'm. There's freaking. Oh, hello. What are these? Let's see what this can do. Really? Dang! Oh, I roll. I, I, I pick up. I gotta aim for the tail. Or I just get overcharged. I just got blasted. Time to drop it. Almost dead. Almost dead. Oh my god. He's all over the place. Oh, come on! That was a hit! All right, to the chest. Hey! Doesn't have to be the Costco. I just gotta win. Right to the heart. Right to the heart. It's dead. Finally. Wow, that was intense, dude. That was just one of them. Slither bang. The data center should be straight ahead. I guess Farl's gonna have to find another way there. Oh, there was another blaster. Oh well. Oh well. We killed it. Just a little bit of precision aiming. <laughs> Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia, fix the system, heal the blight, restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Okay. I should find the server room. I'm close. I have to be. Whoa. It's here. Yes! Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? Oh, Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? A far as the conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And your subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brood of vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! What a dweeb. Repairing your data 
And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a Tate, remember my salute. Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. Poor Varl. Title screen hype? Title screen hypo. Coming in hot. I got it. For all... I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know? But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um... There's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Varl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Varl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. Savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all, to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. <laughs> what you looking at? What you looking at? <laughs> it happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. Oh, I got a statue. They're blowing me up. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. 
Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I cut the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. Oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. Mm -hmm, I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks the same as before. I could pull this thing out of the house. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Damn, dude. We're climbing again. First, 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 first. I want to examine this... the statue they built of me. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. <laughs> it feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Strict pose! Strict pose, look at that. Perfect framing right there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the first episode of Horizon Forbidden West. I think this is a good place to stop. Got really into the far end of the game. First boss battle, first area covered, and we will continue it very, very soon. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the rest of the series. If you are, as always, thumbs up are greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comment box what you guys think of the game thus far. And as well, since this is the first episode of a brand new series, I do want to thank our tier four as well as tier five channel members whose membership have gone directly to support the content of this channel. So big thank you to Dina, Fast Vlogs, Positive Sarcasm, and Austin for their tier four as well as tier five memberships. If you guys want to learn more about memberships, uh, check out the link in the description below. You will see all the perks that you get with your membership. And as well, don't forget to enter the Elgato sponsored content, uh, contest to win a copy of Horizon Forbidden West and as well as an HD60S. And we will continue the game into a sub box near you very, very soon. Everyone have a great day and we will play together soon times.